If you're looking for ways to turn that boring dinner into something amazing, well then look no further. We have Chef Tyler Florence with us this morning. Good morning, Tyler. How are you? Kelly, I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing great. Now, we have families that are balancing all kinds of things, our busy work, and uh, we also want our families to eat healthy. So how can we make our dinners look a little bit more gourmet? So uh, and, and, and I think gourmet is, is, is sometimes a, a, a weird goal. You know, it's really more about delicious, right? So I think that, that's the kind of thing. How, how it can be quick and how can it taste really great? Because uh, sometimes gourmet like turns people off because I don't know if I want to eat it. It's got to be delicious and fresh, right? Fresh flavors, easy to put together. So, so Kelly, so we're, we're going to talk about like, like how, to, how to make side dishes really kind of work for you. And then I got a really quick recipe for you that you're going to love. So this is my second uh, year working with um, when I, I think one of the most innovative food companies in the world, uh, in the country right now, it's Alexia Foods. They're based out of um, Idaho, and they make delicious potato dishes, right? So everybody loves potatoes, and it's also a great side dish for, you know, chicken or pork chop or whatever your, you know, whatever Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday night feels like. And, and the flavors are just delicious. So, if, and Kelly, if you've also uh, ever wondered how things end up at the grocery store, um, you can be a part of the process. So if you go onto their Facebook page at Facebook forward slash Alexia Foods, uh, you can vote. First you gotta click like and then you get a chance to vote on, on some new flavors that are, that are coming out next year. Take a look at this, because I think this is really cool. So, so the idea of bruschetta, right? Crispy bread, tomato, basil, a crispy waffle fry, right? It takes about 20 minutes to get super crispy in, in the oven. Um, like, like basil, a little bit of garlic, delicious flavor, really great. And then also a, 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 a dill french fry, which is really great. Thai flavors, so it's spicy, sour, salty, sweet. This one's really delicious. And we're actually even playing around with the idea of throwing that into a salad. So we've got a little bit of chopped romaine, some grilled chicken, uh, a, a little bit of ranch dressing instead of going crouton, actually uh, taking the crispy potatoes and folding them into the salad. Great flavor, mm. really an awesome texture. And then also some good herbs to Provence. They've got like a little bit of, uh, you know, rosemary and some fresh thyme. And then it's, you know, it's really about, you know, you know so then what else can you do with it? It's really about like, you know, so side dishes and also they, you can reinvent the classic and, and kind of make great dishes with the potatoes as well. So, so, we so, we're gonna need, so what we kind of need is that new go-to meal. Sounds like we've got a lot of really good ideas for those side dishes. How about that new go-to meal? What do you think? Okay, so so check this out. This is gonna we're gonna reinvent the classic. We're gonna we're gonna make a tuna melt, right? So so and this dish I think really kind of fits somewhere in between like an after school snack, a really great lunch, and also an interesting dinner. So check this out. So so um, uh, waffle cut fries, right? You can pick these up in the freezer section of the grocery store. Waffle cut fries in the oven uh, for about 20 minutes, about 350 until they get nice and crunchy. And it's your favorite tuna salad recipe. You know, I like it where it, you know it's a little bit of a, I like tuna packed in water because I think it tastes fresh. And then a little bit of lemon, a little bit of light mayonnaise, salt and pepper, a little bit of lemon juice. And then a big fat scoop on top of the hot potato, right? Hot crispy potato. And there's a little bit of cheddar cheese on top of that. And and it could be cheddar, it could be Monterey Jack. You know, whatever whatever you're into. You know, cheddar's got a nice sharpness to it. Monterey Jack is nice and buttery and creamy whatever you're into, and then we're going to stack all these up. And then, you know, for a little bit of color, a little bit of, uh, a little bit of texture, of aroma tomato slice mm. right on top. And then we're going to take this and pop this back in the oven. Now, we don't want to cook anything. We're just going to put this back in the oven just to melt the cheese or get to the point where I, where I call gush, right? So we want the <laughs> cheese to get a little gushy. I'll tell you right. what, Tyler, when I saw this recipe, you really had me at tuna salad. I love that part of it. But when you put the little waffle french fry underneath, Fantastic. Whole different thing. Yeah. Whole I love different it. category. Yeah. All right, so it's going to go into the oven just to kind of melt the cheese in. I got one ready to go. Check this out. All right. So put that in the oven. I'll pull one out right here. All right. All right, then Kelly, take a look at this. Oh, my Ooh. camera got a really good close up shot. So you see the gushy bits? Yeah. Right? So this is, this is awesome. And then the cool thing about this, you can stack up two or three of these. You know, your kids are going to love it. You're going to love it. It's a great launch. You know, it's a great, this could be even a good holiday hors d'oeuvre if you think about it, right? Hey, well, and of the magic of TV, Tyler, I've got one here at the studio. and. I'm trying it with you. Oh my gosh. Isn't that great? Oh, cool. Absolutely. Mm. Wow. I love it. This is fantastic. And you'd say not only dinner, but we could, it's like a snack, a lunch. Whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's fantastic. Mm -hmm. so, if you go on the, so go on the Facebook page. So <laughs> Facebook forward slash Alexia Foods. Check them out. I think it's a very interesting company. They're, they're, it's, it's, they have all natural products. They have some organics. So from a parent standpoint, you can really get behind that. And I think these guys are great. Tyler, thanks so much for being here, and I know that the uh, sweet potatoes are going to make it into my dinner menu as well. Killer. If anybody needs a recipe, just go to our website at WNWO at NorthwestOhio.com.